I'm waiting for Willie to look at the tunnel before I release him. I'm getting him to wrap the triple. So I'm working on my check or tick cue. Now for some reason Willie runs off screen and I have no idea why because there really was nothing out there. But I simply moved closer to the triple so that it wouldn't be as difficult. Pulled off the jump too soon. Now I want Willie to go to the left end of the tunnel. And to my mind, this is worse than a dog flying crossing you on his own because there's always a danger that if the dog crosses your path in front of you, you're going to trip over the dog. And at my age, I certainly don't want to be tripping over my dog. Well, I had so much trouble with this, uh, I just couldn't believe it, so I brought out a gate to make the closer end of the tunnel less likely. And I am waiting, trying to get his attention on the correct tunnel entrance. And that time he did it, but as you can see, he was ambivalent. Now I'm trying from to show him the difference when I want the close end as opposed to when I want the far end. <laughs> I didn't want the jump. And the sneaky little boy just snuck around the far end of the gate. So now I'm moving the gate closer to the tunnel, so that's not really an option. There we go. That time I was working on my close command. Check. Tick, tick. Check. That's the Owzen. And he did that very nicely. Okay, now we're going to work on the rear, on the shoot with uh, a rear cross eventually. Monday I rear crossed him on a shoot and he banged himself up when he tried to turn around inside. So first I'm working on some straightforward exits. This Willie is basically just too big to turn around inside the mouth of the shoot. Okay, now I'm going to try a rear cross. And he did that pretty well. Although, as he exits the chute, he's really looking at me uh, more than I'd like. But on the other hand, I, I had to set this up within the body of an existing course. 